Good evening and welcome to Sports Sunday. I'm Julian Gibson. Day number three of the London 2012 Olympics. Team Bahamas not seeing any competition yet, but come Wednesday, Ariana Van der Poel Wallace, she will be competing in swimming. Now, track and field will get started on Friday, but Team Bahamas hoping to collect a whole heap of medals. Now, the whole Bahamas, along with corporate Bahamas, wishing Team Bahamas the best. We are one of the big sponsors of the Olympics globally, um, so we're really excited about that. We're paying attention to the Bahamas Olympic team because we did provide them with some fun. Um, but we always have initiatives going on. Anything to do with the community, anything to do with any religious group, any kind of civic organization in the community, whenever we can help them, we make ourselves available to help them as best possible. Well, one of the newcomers to this year's Olympic team is Travano Maki. B3 is officials. They are hoping for some good things from him. Trevor was added because at the NACA Under 23, Trevor met the qualifying standard uh, minutes before the absolute deadline, and so we were able to petition the Olympic Association to make representation on his behalf, and they accepted that. That's a good uh, thing for us as Bahamians to see a young guy who's first year in college as a freshman made the Olympic team. It's good for him because when you look at Trevor, upcoming junior athlete going into senior athletes, now he is on the Olympic team. It's a plus for him. From softball, Stephen Bishop Benneby, he's doing all he can to develop softball at the junior level for females. In North Carolina this weekend, he has an under-18 and under-16 girls team. Bishop in charge. We have a lot of girls playing softball, but they don't have the right fundamentals. So what I'm trying to do here at JBLN is spend a lot of time with just going through basic fundamentals. And with softball, softball is a repetitive score. Uh, sport. So what we try to do is do the same thing over and over and over so that it becomes automatic. In softball, your muscles should remember everything. No, you don't have to think about it, you know. Your muscles should just take over and it's a reflex action. From sailing, Jimmy Lowe talks about what is needed to take our program to the next level. It's basically all about money, is uh, having the money available and the resources to be able to travel and go to the bigger regattas and the ones where you have good competition. Um, and it's all about experience, you know, going forward. I would like to be another step above where we are now, but the biggest problem we have here is a lot of kids go through our program and then they end up going away to school somewhere or the other. So we lose them for a couple of years, you know. Um, like Chris Sands now is away in school. Fortunately, he's in a sailing school. But things like women and other things get into the fray, you know, and um, so you lose, they lose the focus to some extent. But um, all in all, I think that we've made great strides in the last four or five years um, with how, you know, the kids are performing and also the ones that have been exposed to it, how they thoroughly enjoy it. Still talking sailing, if last night at Potterski Dock was any indication on how Cat Island Regatta will be, well, it will be off the chain. We're hoping to have a jolly time. We're going to have, in our A class, we have four, four boats, B class, four boats, C class, four boats, E class, we have two boats. It's going to be an exciting time. We, we, we want you to come to Cat Island. It's going to be a grand, grand time. Once you come to Cat Island, you will have a marvelous time. Cat Island is the island of culture. So once you get there, you'll have a beautiful time. It's going to be off the chain. We've been planning this all, the, all year round. Come this August Monday, Cat Island is the place to be. You should be there. Well, that's all the time for Sports Sunday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Stay tuned. Your weather forecast is still to come.